Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to do a, a video on a new rug that we actually just picked up. Uh, I was actually browsing Facebook and uh, one of those Facebook ads did get me. Uh, this time it was from, from a company called The Ruggable. Uh, and as you can imagine, they sell rugs. And we just moved into uh, a new house here in Arizona. And all, I would say majority of our flooring is actually hard surface. So I'll go ahead and flip you guys around here so you can take a look at our flooring. All right, so this is the box that uh, it comes in. You can see it says Ruggable on the side. Unfortunately, it was uh, beat up a little bit, but the, uh, the product does come uh, rolled up in two separate pieces. So this is the actual rug itself. And then right over here is the pad that goes underneath the rug. And there's actually two sides to this piece. Um, there's this right here, rough side. It's got a little sticky on it right here. And then on this little piece, it also tells you which side uh, actually goes up. So as you can see, it says this side down. So you lay that side down. This side is uh, made out of rubber. And uh, <clears throat> it doesn't actually move very easily. You do have to... Uh, put in some effort to actually move it and then I do have the rug rolled out just to kind of get some of these wrinkles out uh, I'm actually uh, we might actually end up steaming it to get some of the wrinkles out before we lay it uh, over the top of it uh, but I've actually never owned or bought a rug before um, I'd say all the homes that I've lived in have always had uh, carpet in them. So this is the first time I've ever had a house that, uh, Mostly hard surfaces, so this should be kind of interesting one of the main benefits of This company is they do say that their rugs are washable uh, So we'll see how that goes. Let me um, I'll actually show you How thick the rug is So I don't know anything about rugs I'm not sure how thick they're supposed to be or uh, you know quality what that's supposed to be like um, It's not very thick uh, It is very light uh, The backing here um, You know there's nothing uh, too crazy it actually kind of feels a, Let's see a little bit like cashmere to be honest with you as you can see it's already picking up some of my dogs little hairs and then the corners they do have like an extra uh, oh, there he goes right there. <laughs> What's up, buddy? It does actually have a little rubber piece in the corner. Uh, I assume that's to keep the corners weighted down, uh, which should be nice. One of our concerns is we did buy one of these robot vacuums. This is the robot Robo Rock S6. We do call him Rocky. Um, so one of our concerns is that um, you know when he's out here. Uh, on his schedule kind of doing his thing uh, our concern was that he would have no issue getting over this and honestly it's not going to be an issue at all once you kind of put this together over the pad uh, it's not thick at all I'd say if anything it's probably the same thickness as you know your your average carpet that you would find in uh, any home so I'm actually looking forward to this um, I think we paid it was like 250 bucks, 300 bucks maybe, uh, with shipping. Um, so, as you can see, with our room space that we have, uh, there was lots of space that we had to fill in the middle. I'm not huge, personally, on rugs, um, but we did get this because, honestly, I thought the pattern was quite nice. We're trying to go with a mid-century modern theme in here. Uh, we do have to buy a... Um, you know a TV cabinet that goes under here to kind of hide these wires so we needed something to fill this space in the middle here and uh, putting a rug would be the first start just to kind of add a little bit of texture um, to the floors and then eventually we will put a you know a, a coffee table uh, in the middle here and we're not big on coffee tables either but <laughs> um, you know again I think the rug I think it actually looks good the pattern I think it's actually going to work uh, for our space. Um, the coffee table, uh, I think it's going to look good there as well. 
So uh, overall, uh, I, I would definitely say that uh, the pattern, I think it's pretty spot on. Uh, the fact that it's washable is really cool. Um, we'll kind of see how it holds up over the years. I don't think there's going to be any issues really. Uh, it's going to go underneath the coffee table anyway, so it's not going to get you know a ton of use of somebody walking on it. Uh, be around, uh, and, and as you can see, uh, my dog has already cleaned the spot. Is his uh, getting all his little furs all over everything? All right, so here is the final product. I did actually let it stay, uh, let it roll out for a little bit, uh, but then once I actually rolled it uh, over the actual uh, pad itself, the Velcro that's on the pad is relatively sticky. So if there are any wrinkles uh, in the rug, they actually do come out uh, relatively well. There is um, a little section down here that's still wrinkled, but that's all right. I'm sure once we walk on this a little bit more, uh, some of the remaining wrinkles will eventually uh, stay down and iron themselves out. You can see the edges are a little wrinkled, but that's all right. Maybe a steamer would help with that. Um, I did see Patrick kind of eyeing the rug a little bit, so just a matter of time before he claims that as his new bed. All right, guys, that's pretty much it on the uh, on the quick review of Ruggable. The entire experience so far has been uh, perfectly fine. Uh, anyway, appreciate you watching my video. See you. Take care.